We have an exciting new design of our biobag system and costs can be greatly reduced by integrating it with other operations. When integrated with another commercial activity, the costs of site preparation shrink dramatically. Raceways are the most popular way for algal farming. Costly site preparation, but low operating costs for labor. They are too shallow for bubbling more air through, and you have a high risk of culture change or entry of organisms that devour algae. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory took four different photobioreactor systems and compared their costs with those of open raceways using paddles. This summarizes their results. However, the red oval showing a charge for carbon dioxide for open ponds is questionable. The pink oval indicates costs that may dominate. This is our design of a truly inexpensive photobioreactor. The preliminary cost estimate looks pretty good and will get better later on. The segments on our photobioreactor have barriers between them through which the medium can flow from one end of the photobioreactor to the other. An unsupported large biobag would rupture from the weight of its contents. Our previous design had numerous wells to bind the front wall to the back wall, leaving bulging regions for the liquid. Our new design has no wells. The end panels must be sturdy to resist hydraulic forces. The interior panels can be flimsy because there's no force on them, and they could be metal, wood, or plastic. Locator marks are drawn on a flat bag. Note how easy it is to move the panels when the bag is flat. This is clumsy by hand, but would be easy in a shop with the proper jigs and tools. We now have a chamber, and by repeating this operation, we extend to have more chambers. This is one way for easy assembly.
a hanging bag system integrated with ordinary farming would be much the same as any other algal farm except for no cost for site preparation other than posts and post holes. The irrigation water would go directly to the algae and the wastewater from the algae would then become the irrigation water but with added nutrients from the culture medium. The situation is somewhat similar for a cattle feedlot with thousands of cattle, except that the drinking water must go directly to the cattle. Wastewater would be used to fertilize the adjacent fields where cattle feed is being grown. Integrating an algal farm with the facility for treatment of municipal wastes is particularly attractive because the anaerobic digester provides a gas which is highly enriched in carbon dioxide. The effluent prior to chlorination should suffice as the makeup water for the algal nutrient solution. To summarize, a cross-flow system offers some new advantages. Dual use lowers site preparation costs to a very low number. Assembly requires only a staple gun and some inexpensive clamps. Two skilled operators could assemble one of our photobioreactors in less than an hour. No competing system even comes close.